Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie Costa, if you didn't know that already. So today's video is going to be a Romway try-on haul. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. And before I go ahead and start this, I am fully aware that my lips right now are a little bit overdrawn. I don't know if you can tell on this distance but up close uh, yeah just a little I went a little overboard on the lip liner but it is what it is so first off I placed my order on I think November 30th or 31st I got one shirt in one week and then the rest of my stuff came within two weeks and I got 10 items for $104 so first item was a solid bell sleeve tiered ruffled mini dress. I got this in the size extra large. So I definitely think maybe I could have went down on a size, but also maybe not. Um, my stomach area for me um, is kind of emphasized with this dress. So I would probably have to wear some type of uh, shapewear with this one. It is a cute dress. It is a decent quality. It is a bit thin, but super cute. And I got this for $11.02. Next item was a crisscross back sports bra and legging sports set. So I actually did really like this two-piece set. Um, I definitely could have gone with a large instead of an extra large, which is what I got. Um, the leggings were uh, a tad loose, especially on the bottom area and the sports bra could have been a little bit tighter for me. The sports bra is really cute. It's really plain in the front, but it um, is nice in the back. <laughs> the leggings are decent as, as well. It is a thin, kind of like elastic material, and it I'm not sure if it's see-through or not, from what I could tell in my room, but if this, um, if my butt is censored, then well, that tells you that it was a little bit see-through. So this to be set was $11.02 as well. Next item, which I am so obsessed with, is the tie-dye flare leg pants. These are so freaking cute. I actually would probably even consider like wearing this in public. Like I don't care as long as it's not see-through, then it is what it is. But this just like with a plain black shirt or black tank or whatever, oh my god gorgeous <laughs> so I got this in the size extra large and this was $11.87 and then to match it or at least try to match it I got a tie-dye cami bodysuit um, I got this in the size extra large um, it was a little bit loose on the lower area but didn't really fit right on the top area so I think if I got a large maybe it may have not fit um, it's a little bit low um, low cut on the top for me, um, but everything else is fine. It's not, it's not exactly the pattern or the shade as the flare pants that I got. This would actually go really cute with the pair of black skinny jeans, and I got this for five dollars and six cents. Next item is a, I think it's a Gromay lace-up fuzzy sweater. I got this in the size large. This is so incredibly soft. I didn't think it was the most flattering um, sweater on me <clears throat> personally, but the quality of this is very nice. And I got this in the size large and this was $10.17. So yeah, for the money, honestly, the quality feels great. Now, I don't know how this is gonna look when I throw it in the washer and dryer, um, but we will find out. So this material is 60% nylon and 40% acrylic. If anybody was curious, I was, because this is insanely soft. Next item was a self-belted asymmetrical hem top. So it's short in front and long in the back. Um, the piece that goes around your waist, it's separate from the shirt. I would have preferred it to be attached to the shirt, honestly, um, but it still is cute. Without the belt, um, it looks a little weird to me, um, but with it, it 
puts it all together. So I got this in the size large, which I think was a good size, and I paid $10.17. And the last clothing item I got was a tie front lettuce <laughs> edge rib, rib knit bisuit. Why is it called lettuce? I have no idea. Um, so I got this in the size extra large. This was $5.91. Um, this was, I mean, it was cute. Um, I think it might have been a bit see-through and a little bit just like um, lower cut, but with white skinny jeans or really any skinny jeans, um, this would actually look really cute in the summer. Now on to the fun part of this try-on haul is I got another wig. So I think I've already gotten two wigs from Shein. I've gotten a red wig and a pink wig from Shein. And now from Romway, I got a one-piece natural long curly wig. It's kind of like a ombre um, brown to blonde wig. Um, even though I ordered this from Romway, a lot of the items, including this wig, came in Shein packaging. So some people may say they're not the same company, but they definitely get a lot of their stuff from the same place. And they don't bother removing the label. <laughs> so the wigs that I've tried are actually really decent, good quality, doesn't shed too much, um, considering this is technically Shein, even though I got from Rom Way, I would expect it to be pretty similar. Oh, and this originally goes for $20.95, but I got it for $17.82. And this is what the wig looks like, super cute maybe almost matches my hair yeah almost i feel like this one isn't as long as the other wigs that i got but the quality definitely feels similar this is actually seems uh, a lot less shinier than the other wigs that i've gotten so let's get this thing on oh and one thing with ordering wigs from shein or romway is that they don't come with a wig cap so you do need to buy um, one separately. Um, I believe on both the websites, they're about like a dollar. Really, they're like nothing. So I'm pretty sure it's the hairline right here. Um, these tend to look a lot more fake than like the bang ones or even like some of the lace front wigs. This one is not a lace front. So it is to look a lot more fake. Like I probably wouldn't go out with this wig, even though this hair I like better than the other ones. Well, maybe not the pink one. But just, it's like super obvious that this is a wig. I mean, honestly, for $17, I'm not complaining. But this piece right here, it's like super dark. And I don't think, yeah, I don't know what's up with that. <sighs> so one of my favorite shades honestly but not my favorite wig not my favorite um like setup for a wig oh baby when you talk like that you know you got me hematized so be wise and keep on reading the signs of my body no one thing for sure that i will say about she and runway wigs or at least she and at least is that the quality of them is not bad it's just the like just the hairline area just i always have problems with all right guys so that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel i would truly appreciate it and i will see you guys in the next video <laughs> Bye.